The Florida Fishing Academy, a program that helps students from lower income neighborhoods get out on the water. Manuel Bohorkas was along for a recent trip. This isn't your normal field trip. 30 students from Boca Raton, Florida are about to embark on a journey Captain Rich Brochu hopes will change their lives. Good morning, everybody. He's the founder of the Florida Fishing Academy, which combines his love of fishing with his mission to teach the next generation how to be good stewards of the sea. If you give the kids the opportunity at a very young age, then really it's, you know, it's just their open mind and their willingness. So they'll do anything. They're very impressionable. Now remember, I can only bring you to the fish. I can't make them bite your hooks, right? He started the academy after ending careers in law enforcement and construction, looking for a new way to pass the time. Also, kingfish have big teeth, so if I can't have anybody near me because they might get bit. But since 2006, the nonprofit has gone from hosting 40 to 50 children a year to more than 2,500 from nearly 100 schools and community centers. So that's really our outcome is to give kids an opportunity to lead, have them work in group sessions, have mentor other kids. So when we first started the program to the point now, 90 to 95 percent of all of our students have never been out in the ocean. Which explains the excitement. <laughs> On board, the academy staff and volunteers teach them how to hook the bait and lower the lines and wait wait for something to bite. When something does, they light up, intrigued by what they've caught. I got a little vermin yes, fishing. You do. Yeah, that's a keeper. Posing for pictures, even if the fish is a tad small to take home for dinner. Second grader Carmelo found a new sense of pride. I don't know how to take this off. So I heard you after you caught that kingfish, you said, I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, and my daddy and my mommy too can be proud of me. Shannon Laleem is the program director. We love when they catch a fish because it, it definitely, it helps the smiles grow. Fishing's a lot of patience. So even though we're learning different marine science, we're learning about fishing, we're also learning those soft skills. We're learning patience, we're learning leadership, we're learning group mentoring. The learning doesn't just happen here. Hold it, pull it back and let go as you release. The Florida Fishing Academy also takes what it calls its Marine Lab into area elementary schools to teach children about the importance of protecting sea life and the environment. There are also programs that foster careers in the boating and fishing industries. Zachary Crane, an electrician for Viking Yachts, was 13 years old when he started coming on board with the Academy and Captain Brochu. Changed my life around. I learned a lot. Main thing is that's where I got really involved into to fishing and boating. Without working there, I wouldn't be working where I am now. I wouldn't be at Viking. He was the one who pushed me through everything. And he's still pushing. Though we learned on the boat from Vincent, an eighth grader, that sometimes just letting them be is enough. For me, it's like a coping mechanism. I, I like I like being out here. It's, it helped me calm my nerves and like deal with stress. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you feel less stressed out here? Mm -hmm. Some of the life lessons is just trying to be in that, you know, state of mind that hopefully you can find some place to be relaxed and calm. That being said, a trip with Captain Brochu wouldn't be complete without one more thing. My favorite part is going in the water. Going in the water? Mm -hmm. And in they went, diving into what Captain Brochu hopes is an ocean of possibilities. For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, Riviera Beach, Florida.